Hey everybody, Star Maru here with Retro Japan. As you may have already heard, Nintendo has announced that they will be releasing the Super NES Mini, or the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. Now, riding along on the coattails of the Super Nintendo Mini is the Super Famicom Mini, which was just announced moments ago. So let's go ahead and talk about the games that will be packed in the Super NES Mini, and then we'll go ahead and talk about the games that are on the Super Famicom Mini, and see what the differences are. So in alphabetical order, the SNES Classic Edition will be packed with the following games. Contra 3 The Alien Wars. Donkey Kong Country. Earthbound. Final Fantasy 3. F-Zero. Kirby Superstar. Kirby's Dream Course. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, The Unreleased Star Fox 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4 Super Ghouls and Ghosts Super Mario Kart Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars Super Mario World Super Punch-Out Super Metroid, and finally Yoshi's Island. Obviously with it being a Nintendo console, we're going to see a lot of first party games, but one of the most surprising games on that list is Star Fox 2. So now let's go ahead and talk about the games that are going to be on the Super Famicom Mini. Those games include Panel de Pon. We've seen a variation of this game for the N64 with a Pokemon puzzle game very similar. Fire Emblem, Mystery of the Emblem. Gambare Goemon, otherwise known as Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Super Formation Soccer, and Super Street Fighter 2. These titles will be replacing Earthbound, Kirby's Dream Course, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Castlevania 4, and Super Punch-Out from the US version of the system. The Super Famicom Mini will be available October 5th of this year and will retail at about $70 US, or 7,900 yen. All right, so there we have it. Excited? I'm excited. I'm especially excited for the Super Famicom Mini because it looks so awesome. Um, by the looks of it, um, it looks like the Super Nintendo Mini and the Super Famicom Mini will have the um, same ports that you would see on the NES Mini. Um, and I believe they are compatible with the Wii U Classic controllers. So if you have the Wii, Wii U Classic controllers, you'll be able to use them on this console, which is pretty exciting. It's pretty cool, especially if you don't have extra controllers, though I do believe the console is going to come with two controllers right off the bat. So that's always good. Hopefully their cords are a lot longer than the cords that came with the NES Mini because, man, those were really short. On top of that, the Famicom Mini actually didn't even have detachable cables. You pretty much had to deal with the attached controllers because that's how the original design of the console uh, was originally made. So there's that. Detachable controllers. What a novel concept, right? All right, guys. So what do you think about the... There was that. What do you guys think about the Super Nintendo Mini and the Super Famicom Mini? Which one are you excited for? What games are you excited for? I'm personally excited for Panel de Pond, which I do already have, I believe, somewhere over here. And the Gambare Goemon games. I just think it's going to be fun. Um, it's going to be a cool novelty item. Uh, I will likely be getting the Japanese one because the American one will probably get all bought out really quickly and scalpers are just going to go to town because if anybody knows Nintendo they're going to release it in a very limited number 
and you know that's gonna leave a lot of us without any super nintendo minis so i'm just gonna skip all that and just go straight for the super famicom mini you can still get famicom minis in abundance on amazon and anywhere else so not sure why we had that problem here in america but that's how it is anyway guys until next time take it easy bye bye